Hey everybody, Josh Matikor here. I help people get jobs in IT and cybersecurity. I've helped thousands of people at this point. So if you're into that, definitely subscribe. Uh, today's video, I'll be answering this viewer's question. Um, they basically, they left this comment on a video where I was talking about, you know, the possibly, in my opinion, one of the best cybersecurity master's degrees there are. And in this video and in another video, I mentioned um, a cybersecurity PhD um, program like in cyber ops from Dakota State University that I think is a really really good PhD program I was actually going to do it and I, I was serious about it and I did all the prerequisites I even got a second bachelor's degree so I could apply to it like a another like a degree in computer science um, but I ended up just like going hard in YouTube instead and, and not doing a PhD but I'll kind of answer his questions um, he said can you do a video discussing the merits of the doctor of the doctoral program you had mentioned um, does having a doctorate equate to a higher income in cybersecurity thanks so I'll go over the program and why I think it's like so cool um, but just to answer the question about getting more money like generally like not really um, because most of the CISOs, like the chief information security officers I've worked under in the past, they all had like a, a bachelor's only in like business or a bachelor's in like IT. One of them had a bachelor's in um, electrical engineering or something. So to, to reach like the top of your field in cybersecurity, um, you don't need a PhD. And if you have one, like I don't really know if they're going to, they are going to give you more money for that. To be honest, um, to really get like a, like a ton of money in IT like a, or cybersecurity like a, an actual like a lot you have to really specialize and then maybe you work somewhere that requires a clearance and like specialty where you're like super rare and then maybe you make like two or three hundred k or you work for like big tech doing some like high profile security job or you really specialize or you're like a creator with your own products or you have your own company that's how you make like a, a ton of money but like beyond like you know like 200k um, I don't think like a PhD is like really going to help you that much, to be honest. It, it's certainly going to like open doors for you. You know, butterfly effect is real. Like you're going to meet people in the PhD program and you're going to do things that you wouldn't have done otherwise that might equate to getting more money. But, um, you know, that's not the way to get more money in cybersecurity. Uh, that's just my opinion. But as far as like the actual program, like why I think it's like so good, um, cause basically I'll, I'll put some graphic on the screen. The, the curriculum in the program is is a hard curriculum it's like a hard red team like hard offensive cyber operations type stuff where there's um, a lot of low level programming like a lot of c reverse engineering and assembly language and diving like deep into those like kind of malware analysis stuff so if you look at some of the classes there's like advanced reverse engineering this isn't like play school reverse engineering it's like an actual one where you're loading up a debugger and you're looking at the assembly and uh, you're dealing with like all the CPU registers and these low level like memory and stuff. It's it's really like hardcore and it's really cool. I thought it's like really cool. Um, advanced malware analysis, advanced software exploitation. Again, it's not just like well, I'm using like Metasploit and I like used a prepackaged thing. It's like an actual like high speed like hardcore one where you will you can after you graduate with. Um, PhD in this, you could go and do like cyber ops, um, be like a cyber warfare or a cyber, what is it, cyber warfare engineering officer in the Navy, like those kind of like high speed, like cool, like Jason Bourne red team type stuff. Um, if you, you know, get through this program. And I actually learned about this program from Gerald Ogier. Um, he's a, another YouTuber. He has a pretty, pretty big channel and he has like a lot of good, good content. And he also has like a GRC course. So check him out. Um, I learned about the program from him and I kind of looked through it and I was like, wow, this is hard. And I, I like doing hard stuff and really dumping my time and money and energy, energy into stuff. So I thought this was like a good candidate for that. But in the end, I just ended up doing YouTube for some reason. But if you're interested in you know, getting like a, an actual like high speed, cool PhD cybersecurity uh, degree, I would definitely check out this one. They have like a blue team centric one as well. But the red team one, I think it's uh, really, really cool. But you do need like a bachelor's in computer science, at least for like admissions. Um, so I have like a couple of videos on my channel that talk about how to you know, expedite your computer science degree. I like hard attacked my CS degree and I, I front loaded it with like a lot of classes and transfers. And I, I ended up getting it in like two months, which is freaking crazy. It might be a record at WGU, I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, PhD probably won't give you more money, but it will open up a lot of 
crazy cool doors for you and i'm talking about this phd in particular not some like random one from like university of phoenix or capella not that those schools are bad or anything but this one's really dope and i i sought it out and i found it and i thought it was really cool and this is the one he's asking about so just look up like dakota state university phd cyber ops if you want to learn more about it or just like check out gerald's channel but yeah thanks for watching see you in the next video